John here guys and today we're talking about Beta FPD's new Express LRS module and Express LRS receiver that you can now get to actually have a premium module for your full size radio. That's right. Finally, they have a full size thing. It has a screen. It has a controller on there. It has an input for an XT30 to supply its own power. It has a USB-C for updating and a Wi-Fi antenna in there for updating wirelessly. What more could you want? Yes, like many of you out there, I've been enjoying the open source receiver protocol Express LRS for many months now. But if you were doing that, it meant that you probably had to have a very janky 3D printed uh, thing like this right here, the Happy Model 1 that only costs like 30 bucks. But if you're a Crossfire user like myself, you're used to a much more polished and premium product made out of injection molded materials with LEDs and all other kinds of features and an actual real antenna like this giant Crossfire Diamond one right here. This is full of jank. It works exceptionally well, but I had to add double-sided tape and all other kinds of things to just to get the module to stay in there. The other day, Joe Mama was at the night spot and I saw him let a friend try one of his quads and he fail safe out of the air. Why? Because his friend wasn't used to holding the radio just a special way and he moved the wrong way. It was hit a bush, I hit a tree, I had, to, the get, ground. I had to get used to the race. Off. Hey, never disarm. <laughs> The module moved loose and it caused the module to lose power and him to fail safe. And he was using one of these right here. So Express LRS itself works great, but the open source nature of it meant that you had to have a lot of homebrew solutions like this. And the 3D printed one works okay, but sometimes you want something a little bit nicer. You show up to the night spot with this thing when everyone has a fancy ghost module or tracer, and it looks like you just showed up dressing yourself from the dollar store to the first day of school. And I'm not even talking about like the nice dollar store, like Dollar General. I'm talking about the straight up 99 cent stuff. This, however, is much more designer looking. It is beautiful. It has a fan, it has LEDs that you can customize the color on. And the screen is beautiful. Uh, I just love it, man. This finally, makes you feel like you're using a premium system even though it is open source. You're gonna pay a little bit more. I think this is more like 40 or 45 bucks, but still very, very cheap. You can get the cheap Express LRS receivers of any type. They'll work with any of them out there. In fact, it was really nice that all I had to do to switch to this new module, I didn't have to rebind a thing. All I did was follow Beta FPV's uh, instructions on how to update the firmware on this thing. As I did that, I put in my bind phrase that I use for all of my quads plugged it in turned on my radio and all of my quads were bound I'm going to the night spot tonight so I couldn't afford to test something new and rebind all my quads I didn't have to all I had to do was update this it took about 60 seconds and everything works like magic you know that's very nice since I already have probably 10 plus quads on Express LRS making it super easy as you can see this thing fits totally perfectly and it's totally snug. The actual tabs work perfect. So this is not very expensive. I can power this thing up and now you can see that I have full LEDs on there. Of course, you can even change the color of this. I just long press to get into the menu and uh, I have it on 500 hertz, 1128, 250 milliwatt power. I can even change the color if I want to. Right now it's on cyan, I can change it to blue, I can change it to white, I can change it to aqua, I can change it to red, I can change it to green. I'm gonna go with the default cyan because it just looks cool. And uh, you can actually go directly to a bind command right there. So if I hold that, now I'm in binding mode. That is that easy. This is really nice for those whoops where you don't necessarily need to go in there. You can put them in bind mode and just hit that and you will be able to bind right up. For the whoops like the happy model all in one board, you can actually go to the CLI tab and just like you would a SPI bind command, put that bind command in there. It'll activate the ELRS in bind mode. Then you can go like that. So you don't even have to mess with binding phrases for those models, but you can if you would like to. I even like that this is so tiny, it just fits on there 
even nicer. So now we finally have a premium option right there. It looks kind of like Iron Man uh, on there, which is really, really cool. Just don't take pictures like Happy Model did like this because then it looks like Goatsy, that old uh, meme, not safe for work picture from like 20 years ago. In addition to this, you also have the option to run this linear antenna if you would like, just for space savings. It comes with that as well. It comes with one of these little update cables that I don't really think you're gonna need it for anything, but it's nice to have it. And there is also a new Nano um, 2.4 Express LRS receiver version on here. And I actually really do like this durable style 2.4 antenna. I wasn't quite sure about using this bind phrase thing at first, but man, Express LRS, this is so handy. Whole new module, whole new hardware, upgraded, higher power output, more power options, a better antenna and I don't have to rebind a thing. All my quads are just magically ready to go. So I'm gonna head to the ninth spot, get some packs on this thing. If you're on Express LRS and you want a nicer option, then this, my goodness, this is a no brainer. You won't even have to rebind your quads. If you've been on the fence and you didn't wanna have to show up to the spot with something that made you look like you were bringing your lunch to school in a brown paper bag when everyone else was eating pizza in the cafeteria with Flintstones push-up pops. Yeah, Flintstones push-ups, that's what's cool. This is gonna give you that look. Thanks, guys.